Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode, the part 4, of my Dark Souls board game attempt, my first experience with it. Now, let me just adjust the camera's angle slightly there, I don't need to see quite so much carpet. So, so Cairo Palmorian has blundered into another encounter where he is going to have a horrible, horrible time at the hands of a Silver Knight Great Bowman. Now, not, not an archer, no, that's a great bow. I mean, look at it, it's ginormous. It's like two mammoth tusks or something. Uh, 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 uh. Horrible. Well, let's get on with it then. Hmm. Not looking forward to this. Now, something I neglected to mention in the last episode and completely forgot to cover was when he perished in the former encounter, the spark of humanity is fading. He's now down to four. Should the spark of humanity completely be extinguished, he will become hollow and his attempt shall fail. I imagine his attempt will probably fail. I, I don't think he's going to defeat the gargoyles, but we shall see. It could happen. <laughs> it could. Okay, so the hollow soldiers will actually go first. Will advance up and attack. With a sword for four points, we'll have a blue and a black die for defence again. Oh yes, yes. Definitely well defended there with, with his sword and shield. The shield that he needs to remember how to use. And the second one comes in and attacks. He defends again. His armour is proof against their crude and rusty blades. Then we have the archer. The archer will shoot for four points, so armour and shield again. You know, shields and armour are never this useful in the real Dark Souls computer games. Everyone just dies really easily. A point gets through there, he's been, you know, the tip of the arrow just found a weak point in his armour and he's feeling sorely wounded. However, now the archer will move away from him and it backs up into the barrel, which I believe destroys the barrel. Just, you know, the barrel shatters on impact. But I could be mistaken. Let's see, barrel... Otherwise, the archer may actually remain standing where he is. This is interesting. Hang on, it's a move away. So do enemies just not go into barrels at all? Wow! Okay, so the archer remains where he is, which actually is kind of helpful. So, oh, you know what, I think it's time to drink an Estus flask. I really, really do. because our knight is looking injured here and he's going to have to go for that archer. Let me just find... I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. But I'm just checking if there's an action he has to spend or any, any cost involved with doing so. Nope, oh, okay. So, he'll drink his Estus flask and we'll flip that over and remove all fatigue and damage and then he will advance towards the knight he will even run a little bit which will be risky he's gathering up speed and momentum as he charges in there and goes for a heavy attack now this is a lot of uh, this is very risky if this all goes horribly wrong he's gonna perish and it's all gonna be a disaster Heavy attack with his sword against the archer. That's four damage. The great knight silver bow, sorry, the silver knight great bowman has two defense and one health. That's free. He defeats the foe and then turns to face the hollow. See now, now that the 
archers been taken out, the hollows are significantly less dangerous. I didn't reset the focus, did I? Oh well. So, from this node they both advance towards him and do not attack. When it comes to his turn, he will recover to stamina. Well, that one really doesn't want to come out, does it? And the pigeons are baying for blood again. I swear, they're very bloodthirsty pigeons. I do for time. Oh yeah, yeah, lovely. Right, so he's going to step in there and attack the one nearest the camera with a light attack only. That's one point of damage. He's got one point of armor, so no damage. Oh well, now they will both attack him. So we'll do this one first. Two points of damage gets through. Ow. Well, I knew it was a big risk, okay? And then the second one will attack. He clearly Sir Palmorian let his guard down there, and a third point of damage gets through. Right, well, he's looking a bit hurt now, so he'll recover two points of stamina, and make light or heavy? No, can't risk a heavy at the moment. Make a light attack on the one nearest the camera. That's two, that's one armor, one health, he is defeated. I'm thinking after this encounter it'll be time to go back to the bonfire actually, back to the Phylinx Shrine. Even though it means... Actually this encounter hasn't been as bad as the first one, that's interesting. Hmm. Oh, they've got dodge. Wait. Oh no, it's dodge difficulty. Yeah. Right. So, he will be attacked. Let's hope his shield and armour prevail. Three points, another point gets through. But okay, yeah, he's, he's doing okay here. He's surviving, right? It, it's not great, but it's better than nothing. And then, you know what? He'll recover the one point of stamina remaining, and then pay four for a heavy attack. Because he can probably put this foe down now. Actually, no, he probably shouldn't do that. There's a, a level two encounter through the... No, 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 I'm going back to the shrine back to the shrine so I can go all out here. It's, you know, just, just watch as I roll no swords and completely fail to kill this. Oh no, two, that's enough. So, my foe is defeated. Two more souls are placed in the... Uh, let's, let's just swap a one for a free there. In the pool at the Phalanx Shrine. And now, now it's time to return back to the Firelink Shrine and recover. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise I'm in a pretty bad way. Okay, well I'll leave it there and pick up next time and we'll see how things go from there. Right, bye bye for now.